That's right. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go. Money talks and bullshit walks. This Bible is money. This Bible is on the money. Money talks and BS walks. And this Bible is talking in these last days. The word is talking. Shalom, beloved brother, Gabar Adama, beloved sister, the beloved lady of the hopeful elect of Yahweh. Sister Amaya Judith Yasharala. Brother Ariel Bon, Brother Ariel Bon Howard. <coughs> Money talks, BS walks. Well, this Bible is talking in these last days. All the gains are getting ready to come to an end. This is absolutely ridiculous of what we're dealing with on this earth. Absolutely ridiculous. Pedophiles are ruling over us. Freaks, witches, high-level warlocks that drink blood and do child sacrifice. So the earth is in disarray. And many of you Jake men are sitting back drinking hot chocolate and marshmallows. The Most High is going to kill you. You've been warned. You can't say you didn't know. You've been warned. <coughs> the entire earth is in disarray. Nothing but wickedness is going forth. But at the end of the day, what the old folks used to say, God is in control. When it looks bleak, when the future looks dim, the Most High has a plan. We're not going to see the glory unless we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We're not going to see the Son of the Most High rise up with healing in his wings unless we are sick, suffering, in deep mourning, sorrow. Well, what can the Most High heal? If we're not sick, sick and disgusted with this queendom, with the wicked in rulership, and physically sick. So we're going to appreciate Yahweh Shai coming with healing in his wings. We're ready to go home. We're ready to be caught up to meet our Lord and Savior in the air. We're tired. Just like in that movie, Life, I'm tired, boss. I'm ready to go home. And in the movie, The Green Mile, boss, I'm tired. So we're tired. But this is ridiculous. But the Most High has a plan. We're going to appreciate the salvation. We're going to appreciate deliverance, being healed because we're suffering at the hand of the wicked. The whole earth is sick from head to toe. <clears throat> so we're going to go into it. The Most High has a plan. Let's go to Job. What happened to Job? Job was struck with sickness. Job was beat down to the ground. Weak, feeble, he was miserable. The Bible says he had boils on his skin. So we are to have the mindset of Job. The caveman knows he's going down. Inflation, economic collapse is underway. The U.S. petrodollar is being ditched for the Chinese yuan. 200 nations, 200 nations 
are deciding to get rid of the U.S. petrodollar. 196 nations are working on an agreement to come together under a global order through the World Economic Forum. <clears throat> so the U.S. leaders have sold out its citizens and they're agreeing to give up their sovereignty to the New World Order. Shalom. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halayla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rekat Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and do honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, the Most High is in control. So we're seeing the prophecies unfold. Uproars of the people. Economic catastrophe is underway. A slow, gradual transition into the digital currency. The current monetary system is collapsing. The carpet is being pulled right from under our feet. So the Bible warns us to trust not in riches, especially gotten by deceit. Trust not in the things of this world. <clears throat> so this system is not built on wisdom. It's not built on truth. How many of you grew up listening to the scriptures that the prophets bring out. How many of you knew who the caveman was when you was coming up through the church? Who the wicked was? Who was the devil? How many of you knew who Esau Edom was? The son of perdition, that man of sin. I still had a man with tight red spandex in my mind with a big pitchfork in his hand. We had no idea, but now the veil is being lifted up. Shalom, beloved brother, GMS Saints of the Most High, Brother Gabar Adama, and Brother GMS Orlando. Let's read this. Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. See? So these prophecies do not fail. Uproars of the people. So a total new world order it's already in the works. Where are the scoffers at that accuse us of being conspiracy theorists, bugged out, accusing us of making up the UFO story? Where are the mockers, the non-believers that say we are crazy? All we're doing is fear-mongering. We're promoting make-believe. We're fear-mongering. Talking about a new world order. All of the founding fathers of America were Masons. Benjamin Franklin. You see? John Hancock. All of these original so-called founding fathers. They practice high-level 
sorcery, and witchcraft. Look at the layout of Washington, D.C. But we've been accused as being conspiracy theorists. Why are they building a new world order through a global economic world forum? They've always had this in mind. You see? So are we bugged out or are you bugged out? At this point in time, you must ask yourself, who's the true bug outs walking in gross darkness and whom the God of this world have blinded? Let's go here. So once again, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kadash, and double honor and respect to the elders and apostles of Great Nisto. Much respect and honor to the brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect of the house of David. Let's go to Job. So Job had to be brought low, had to suffer, stricken with sickness, had his wife turn on him. Job's own wife said, curse this God of yours and die. So we're seeing family members turn against us. Some of us have lost our jobs. We're being accused as being crazy, delusional, because we have a spiritual eye. We can foresee the events to come. We can sense the said perils and dangers that are going to come upon the earth. The earth is speaking to you right now. Why you think we're seeing uproars of the people? A global pestilence, a global sickness. People speaking out against Edomite supremacist terrorism, feminism, women's lead. See, so the world is exhibiting symptoms against the wicked being in rulership right now. Ask the earth and it shall tell thee the beasts of the field, and they shall speak unto thee. Birds dropping dead out of the sky because of communication towers going up. Brother DMS Saints of the Most High, Proverbs 22 and 3. <laughs> A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. So only the elect have the light. We have a spiritual eye. We have the eye sad. Look up the wise old owl. The wise old owl has a special oil behind his eyes that illuminates in the dark so we can see through the veil of darkness avails of secrecy. We know the founding fathers were masons, warlocks, pedophiles. I think it was Benjamin Franklin. They found children's bones that he was sacrificing underneath his home. Somebody, can you can please post that. It was either Benjamin Franklin or uh, that other devil. But anyway, let's keep it moving. So America has been deceived, thinking that America was built on fundamental Christian principles. No, it was built under the devil. Newsflash, the founding fathers were all Satanists, devil worshipers, high-level Mason, Masons. You see, what do they call themselves? The sons of light. What's in Isaiah 14? How art thou fallen, O Lucifer? 
What was the age called after the Dark Ages? Uh-oh, I'm going into history. The enlightened or age of enlightenment. The age of enlightenment. So Satanists are in rulership. Or does that word Lucifer go back to? Light bearers, illuminated ones. They call themselves the sons of light. Benjamin Franklin was raping kids, drinking their blood. There it is. Thank you, Brother Gabar Adam. Benjamin Franklin's basement was filled with skeletons. Repairs on Benjamin Franklin's old London house turned up 1,200 pieces of bone from at least 15 people. Those were children. Okay? The elites love adrenochrome. It helps keep them looking young. It's like cocoa butter on steroids. They love to look young and exuberant where it tightens up their skin and they believe add years to their life. Who studied Aleister Crowley? They believe if you sodomize a young boy, you add years to your life and you obtain spiritual power. I wish I was making this up. Esau Edom is truly, indisputably, undoubtedly, the devil that the Bible speaks of. But a lot of you jakes are holding on to this man's socks while he's falling. The damn man's pants and fell off. His socks are dragging. And you're holding on to the man's underwear. Anything you can get your jake grips on. You're trying to hold on to a fallen kingdom. Child molesters and pedophiles. Warlocks that worship the devil. But Jake is like, God loves everybody. We're all equal in God's eyes. Okay? So you're going to die with this man. Anybody that stands behind, somebody that drinks blood and pop little children in the behind, you're going to die with this devil. Let's go here first. Let's go to Proverbs 18. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 5. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow a righteous in judgment. No, we're going to go ahead and accept this devil. No matter how much wickedness he does. Witchcraft. Trisodium phosphate in the Lucky Charms. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Poisonous atmosphere. Chemical trails in the air. Let's read. Slow in mind. In other words, retarded. Let's read it again. Proverbs 18, verse 5. It is not good to accept the persons of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. So the Most High loves judgment. He loves the righteous. He loves his elect. He loves his people. His chosen ones. His anointed. Let's go here. Brother Yawakanan, Hebrews 12 and 16. <coughs> the EHV version. Take care that no one becomes sexually immoral or worldly like Esau, who gave away his right as firstborn for a single meal. So they're pushing laws to make zoology or bestiality legal. Or you can pop your dog or pig or cat. This man is going to destroy the earth and spread more sickness and disease. They claim the pandemic came from a damn bat. But if I tell you where it came from, they'll take down the video. Now, some of you know already. I did a video on it.
but it was in a hidden language where I said this lesson is only for the elect. Look up the word V-I-R-U-S on etymology online. Exactly. I can't go into detail. So you ought to know we're teaching the truth. Whose videos are being taken down in shadow bay? So go on etymology online. This channel that I'm on has two strikes. One more strike and I'm out. That's why I got three backups. I'm ready for you devils. I'm used to you taking away the word because you despise this word. It has no place in you. Who wept and screamed and cried out like a little girl that dropped her ice cream cone when he was told he's going to serve his brother Jacob and become a servant? Who cried like a little pansy? Oh, sleazy. <coughs> Let's go to Job 12. Shalom, beloved brothers of God. Every time we go into detail, they take down the video or strike the videos. But you got to pay for that sleazy. Everything we do in this life comes with a price. Nothing in this world is free. Let's go to Job 12. Look at Job chapter 12, verse 1. And Job answered and said, No doubt, but ye are the people, and wisdom shall die with you. But I have understanding as well as you. I am not inferior to you, yea, who knoweth not such things as these. So when you have wisdom, the world looks down upon you. It's not value. A poor man's words is despised and not held into great value. Job 12 and 4. I am as one mock. I am as one mock of his neighbor who calleth upon the most high, and he answereth him. The just man is laughed to scorn. See? So where are the mockers? We told you a new world order is coming. We told you a digital transition is coming. We told you that a reset is coming and that we're going to use crises, lockdowns, and global disorder and man-made catastrophes to usher in their desired objectives, their goals. Where are the naysayers that laugh us to scorn? We told you that they're going to attempt to merge man with machine. Look up transhumanism. Who told you? Who told you these things? So it let God be true, but every man a liar. So we're just vessels. Vessels that the Most High has poured water into. Cisterns. Tools that are pouring out rivers of living water. So the prophecies are true and accurate. Job 12 and 4. I am as one mock of his neighbor who calleth upon God. And he answereth him, the just upright man is laughed to scorn. He that is ready to slip with his feet is as a lamp despised in the thought of him that is at ease. Who is at ease? Somebody post that, please. And um, I think it's Jeremiah 49 and 31. <coughs> Who's at ease? It's also in Jeremiah, uh, not Jeremiah, also um, Isaiah 
47. It's in two places. Isaiah 47, and I think also Jeremiah 49 and 31. One moment. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Isaiah 47, verse 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. So the prophecies are coming to pass in the last days. Verse 8. Therefore, hear now this, thou that are giving to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. America dwells carelessly. Lady Liberty, she is at ease. I am the greatest country of all time. I took down Great Britain. I took down Spain. I took down France. I took down Mexico. I took down Germany, Japan, Vietnam, India, Pakistan, the Middle East. Iraq, Iran, thou that dwellest carelessly, that have said in thine heart, I am, and there is none else besides me. See? So they are at ease and bogged out two third ass Israelites. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shai, Jeremiah 49, verse 31. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation. Whoa, what is, what is America? <clears throat> that heapeth unto her all nations, peoples, multitudes, and tongues. Andre serving in Havashai, Jeremiah 49 and 31. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care saith the Lord, which had neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. See? So you can drive from state to state without having so you can drive from state to state without having to go through checkpoints, borders. So it dwell without bars. It is a seamless transition. We go from North Carolina to Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Alabama, because you can just cross borders. So it dwell carelessly. It is at ease. Let's go back to Job. Job 12, verse 5. He that is ready to slip with his feet is as a lamp the spies in the thought of him that is at ease. Wait a minute. Whose lamp is being put out? I need your help, brothers. Whose lamp is being put out and whose foot is getting ready to slip or slide in due time? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Let's read it again. Job 12, verse 5. He that is ready to slip with his feet is as a lamp despised in the thought of him that is at ease. So the light or the candle of the wicked. Yep. Brother Fisher turned hunter. Proverbs 13 and 9. The light of the righteous rejoiceth 
but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Woo! I love it. Home run. I love it. Well, these animals are going to slip or slide in due time. Brother Andre serving you how shot. Job 21 verse 17. How off is the candle of the wicked put out? And how off cometh their destruction upon them? God distributed sorrows in his anger. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Let's go to Job 12 and 6. The tabernacles of robbers. Where does Esau eat them? Who stole Canada? Who stole North America? Central America? South America? Who colonized Jamaica? Haiti? Who colonized New Zealand? Israel, South Africa. Uh oh. Oh boy. Look out. New Guinea, Indonesia, India, Pakistan. Who are the robbers? The wicked. Esau, Edom. They're not white, they're red. Red beasts. Let's read it again. Job 12. Verse 6, the tabernacles of robbers, the what? The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure, into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. There are no bands in their death. They take their organs and live to be about 105 years old of you Israelites' lungs, your kidneys, your damn intestines, your heart. Why well, you think when the bodies are found of you Israelites, you look like you're being gutted out, like a damn gutted out fish. Nothing left but meat and skin. Well, uh-oh, there's a report going around. They found human meat samples in some of these food processing plants. And I, okay, let me be wise about this. Unconfirmed reports. Let me do that. Because they'll take down the video. Human meat has been found in these plants that have been getting burned down. So there are unconfirmed reports that that's why they're being burned down. To hide the evidence. And a lot of that meat is probably dark meat. Evil E. Loves dark meat. Okay? You Jakes. So-called Negroes and Native Americans. And Latinos. Look up that book. I forgot the name of the book. Somebody help me out. Delectable Negro. The Delectable Negro. If you don't believe me. There are unconfirmed reports. Wait a minute. I was in Europe. They found horse meat. In the damn beef. In Europe. <clears throat> I spent three and a half years in Europe. Let's say this. Unconfirmed reports. Just like in America. Human meat. In the food processing plants. Anybody supporting this devil? Hey listen. Blood is on your hands. And Israelite kidneys going missing. Your heart. Your lungs. There are no bands in these devils death. They lived to be about 105 years old, drinking blood, stealing your organs, and popping young boys in the backside. And you're talking about God is going to save these devils. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shah, Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey be part of not. The bloody city is America. The daughter of Babylon, modern day Nineveh, modern day Assyria, modern day Egypt, in a spiritual sense, it is a conglomeration, a melting pot of peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. 
all the empires of the world merge together. I mean, and remember the blanket grandma would make. All these different fabrics and different checkerboards and zigzags and stripes all thrown together. That's confusion. Some parts are thin, some parts are thick. By your feet, you cold as hell. You got frostbite on your toes because the blanket is out of order, okay? All types of mixed fabrics, that's against the scriptures. It messes with your vibration. You all jacked up in the morning, waking up like this. What time is it? You see, everything here is out of order. Mixed fabrics, cavemen ruling, pedophiles, and political office. All the course of the earth, all the foundations of the earth is out of course. Let's read that again. Brother Andre serving you have a shot. Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. <coughs> Beautiful. Brother Gabar Madonna. Psalm 73 and 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. So they're blood suckers, a leech. That somebody post that in Proverbs chapter 30. They're like a horse's leech. It's in Proverbs 30. Why are there no bands in their death? They suck the blood out of the poor and needy. They get your organs, literal blood, and they live off your, your labor, off the blood, sweat, and tears of the poor, the downtrodden, the oppressed. So these people are blood-sucking leeches, blood suckers. They are not in trouble as other men Neither are they played like other men. How many of you have seen the international bankers getting the ouchie, fat or fauci, ouchie, whatever the hell you call it? It's a damn shame we got to speak in kindergarten language. I mean, we all adults here, but the devil keeps taking down the videos. No international banker has gotten the fauci, ouchie, or the hokey pokey. You see? We got to speak like me in first grade because the caveman is hurt and scared. You see, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Next thing you know, you on the ground trusting this damn devil. All right, six feet deep. This man is the devil. But you Jakes don't believe that. You still think God loves everybody and we're all equal. <clears throat> okay, a lot of you Jakes are bugged out, bugged out. Let's go back to Job. So there are no bands in their deaths. Where is that at? Let's go here. Brother Yawaka 9, Proverbs 29 and 10. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. See? They are blood-sucking leeches, serpents. Let's get this in um, Proverbs. <coughs> the horse leech. One moment. Proverbs 30 and 15. A book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 15. The horse leech hath two daughters, crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not. It is enough. Will they not? Somebody post that. See, this is a, a symphony, harmony. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? Come on, man. What was this talking about? The cave man. 
This is not rocket science or advanced placement chemistry or physics. See? Let's read it again. They can't stop stealing, killing, lying, deceiving. Brother GMS Saints of Yahavashai. Brother GMS Saints of Yahavashai. Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. So the path of the righteous is the lamp the light of the word, which is a lamp unto our feet, the glorious gospel, Proverbs 4 and 16, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall, for they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence, they drink in Adrenochrome. <clears throat> They're drinking children's blood. That's what they do. Hell, they've admitted it. There was a video posted around. What was that female celebrity name? Somebody help me out. She admitted that. That they drink blood. And they drink each other's blood. Not just children. So they're coming out in the open now. With Satanism. Tarot card reads. At McDonald's. Human meat being found in different burger processing plants, meat packing plants, ground beef. This place is falling and can't get up. What was that woman name that admitted they drink blood? Betty White, that devil. And there's a simp somewhere talking about how good she looked. She's a witch and a devil, okay? and Megan Fox. They're openly admitting to Satanism because you men are sitting back eating popcorn and drinking mellow yellow. You love being at the bottom, getting a foot in your ass. You love being three-fifths of a man. First fire, last hire. You love being a chimpanzee. Beat down to your socks and still going out to vote. How many corporations do you own, Israel? How many airports do you own, Israel? How many sea points or seaports do you own, Israel? How many airstrips do you own? How many corporations do you own, Israel? Show me an Israelite on the back of your $1 bill or on your coins, your quarter of a dollar. Your half a dollar, your one dollar coin, your gold and silver. Let me see a Jake. I'm going to look and check. I better see the full licks and the broad nose. I better see it. If not, that's a caveman. You can't fool me. Let's go. So you going out and voting for the damn devil. Your situations have not changed. Your head and face is not on the change. You don't own any airports. You don't own any airstrips. You don't own any corporations. You don't print your own money. You don't own any banks. You don't own any food processing plants. You don't own any clothing and textile and manufacturing plants or facilities. You don't own any water bottling plants. You don't own any food production plants or facilities. And you're talking about we're all equal. Talking about Harriet Tubman on the damn $20 bill. To hell with Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. What is that? $20 can barely get you a damn a double shot at the bar somewhere. <coughs> Walking around still thirsty. Talking about a $20 bill with Harriet Tubman. A lot of these jakes out here are bugged out. But a lot of these chimps, they're going to cheer if they get Harriet Tubman on the damn $20 bill. Then they're going to say we're all equal. 
Look at that. The K-Man is an equal opportunity employer. Bug out. Bug out. Brother Yawaka Nun, Deuteronomy 28 and 44. He shall lend to thee, and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shall be the tail. So we're at the bottom, looking up at the bottom. And he owned the lowest damn currency. They turned it copper brown to look like our skin and put Le uh, Abraham Lincoln on there. And he's facing an opposite direction of the other presidents. Put all the silver coins together and that one brown copper colored coin, the color of Jake. Abraham Lincoln is facing an opposite direction. And it's the cheapest. How many of you are carrying pennies around? Have you lost your damn mind? What if they put Jesse Jackson on there? I almost said something else. A lot of Jake's going to start cheering with Jesse Jackson on a penny. I mean, unbelievable. We have lowered our standards beyond belief. Let's go back to this. Proverbs 30 and 15. The horse leech had two daughters crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say it is not enough. Who stole North America, South Africa, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, India, Pakistan, the Holy Land, Israel, the Golan Heights, uh-oh, Mexico, who stole the Louisiana Purchase? They claim they bought it, but that's a damn lie. They stole it. Everything the caveman has, he stole it. Peace treaties and negotiations. We brokered a deal. Let's go to here. Brother Andre serving your house side. Obadiah, verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? See, the horse leech say it is not enough. See that? What does that mean? Pakistan is in the bag. And why is it always 100 degrees at your house? Hey, what are you talking about, um, grandson? Rainbow grandson, grandson. All right, let's keep going. Let's go back to um, Job 12. A book of Job. Chapter 12, let's go to verse 6. The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure, into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. So the Most High raised them up. The Most High raised up ancient Pharaoh, the ancient Egyptian oppressors. See? So they were raised up just to be destroyed, brought down so that he can flex his arm, flex his muscle to show his power and strength in their destruction. So this is all by design and exalt the righteous, the chosen, the anointed, Jacob, that are going to be raised up. Bodies change. Minds change, become immortal. So the Most High gave them riches, abundance. Who gave us over to the robber? Wait a minute. Are not the Israelites called riches? Somebody post that, please. Who gave up Jacob to the robber? 
I think it's Isaiah 41 or 42. See that? So the Most High gave us up. Remember? I will send a nation against thee as swift as the eagle flyeth. So the Most High raise up the modern day oppressors. Right here. Brother Andre serving you how shy. Isaiah 42 and 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient. So the Most High raised up these KBs. And they became a rod of correction. And these KBs are crazy. They rape kids. And then 10 year olds curse out their mothers. I hate you, drop dead. These people are crazy. Call their mothers bees and hoes while they're 10 and 12. We would have gotten a damn another hole made in our skull. But these cave beasts, that's normal for them. I hate you, mom. Eat shit and die. We can't do that. That's why the Most High told us to be separate. We were never supposed to be intermingled with these cave beasts. But we went off. So the Most High said, I will send a nation against you, a fierce countenance, a shameless nation. A nation that loved to rape kids is a shameless nation. The ancient Romans were pedophiles. So these spirits are back today. They've been reincarnated. Look up the ancient Roman Caesars. They would summon or have a little boy dropped off at their room in the wee hours of the night so that they could do whatever they wanted with the poor little boy. So the Most High is getting ready to clean these cave beasts off from up the face of the earth. These cave beasts have contaminated the entire planet. They drink blood or they call a drip, trying to give it a fancy name, like, like a damn a bar drink. Give me a shot of adrenochrome, please. You see? Like the bartender is going to be like, okay, cut it up. It's blood, damn it. Call it what it is. These people are straight savage. I mean savage. But Jake talking about they're going to be saved and shown compassion. Not. Let's keep going. Job 12 and 6. <clears throat> the tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure, into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. Sirach 10 and 4, please. So the Most High lifteth up one and bring down another. The Most High is in control. Stop crying that the caveman is your boss, your supervisor. He is the bank lender. He writes the bank notes, loans out money, writes your evaluation. You got to be a good boy at work. And then you come home and curse out your damn spouse. That's going off. We've been showing all your teeth all day to the devil. And you was in great spirits under him. And then come home and curse out your family or your husband. Okay, that's going off. And you show the caveman all your damn Colgate teeth. It looked like you was on a Colgate toothpaste commercial or dentine commercial. And then you come home and you become wicked. That's going off. That's out of balance. Brother Andre serving in house shot. Psalm 75 and 6, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west. <clears throat> for promotion, let's read it again. <clears throat> Psalm 75 and 6, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Beautiful. Shalom, beloved brother, basic wisdom. So the Most High is in charge. Don't get discouraged. I know it's hard. These people are crazy. 
They got it whereas your children are getting questioned at school, elementary school, when they put down their race, or not race, but gender. Are you sure you're a little girl? Are you sure you're a little boy? Or are you unsure? Now, a young child's mind is not really that in tune with what's going on in the C3PO communities. So why are you messing with these kids? Leave these kids alone. But the caveman is taking them through intense interrogation. And they're already scared and young because he wants your kids. That's why they're passing laws where it's okay. They're going to add another letter to the alphabet if you desire children. That's going to become another letter. I don't know what letter, but well, these devils got to be stopped. The wickedness of these cave creatures have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And all the foundations of the earth is out of course. The men are rebuking these behaviors. The men are reproving their thoughts. We were made to reprove their thoughts and tell the caveman, you're going off, animal. Come back in. Take the chain and reel. Reel the put pit bull back in. Jerk the chain and reel him back in. So the Jakes, the Israelites, the men of the house of the tabernacle of David were made to reprove their thoughts. For the GMS saints, GMS servant of Yahweh Shai. Job 30, let's go to verse 6. To dwell in the clefts of the valleys and caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid under the nettles. They were gathered together. So they were braiding like animals, like wild horses. You see, because they lost their language. What happens to prisoners of war? How many know? When you take prisoners of war, so they fell during, uh, under King David. And they were driven to the caves. And they fell again during dark ages. Around 300, 300 AD. But what you do is, I mean, I'm going to give you a military strategy. When you take down prisoners of war, what do you do? You separate the children from the elders. You see? And then the children, and what else do you do? You, you tell them they have no permission to speak. A uh, Dougie Fresh, if you don't like it, you can go kick rocks. I served 25 years in the military. What did you do, Dougie Fresh? So if you don't like it, there's the door. Bye-bye, there's the door. You've already probably been taken by the caveman, walking like you've been sitting on a horse saddle for 20 years, nonstop, and never got off for a rest, where you can get your damn back and hip joint back in order, or your legs straightened back out. Now interrupt me again. So a lot of these men that have been turned out, they'll never be the same again, okay? They can't even walk straight anymore. Hit out of joint, a damn lower tailbone has been cracked, blowed out. That's why they got a perverted mind and hate the scriptures. So anyway, what you do is you separate, I'm speaking from experience, you damn devil. You separate the young from the old. So you take away the leadership and then you make it illegal for them to speak because if the cave beasts can speak, these devils start whispering plans on how to escape. You see? So you make it, hey, shut your ass up, caveman. You make sure they can't speak because they plotting against you how to take you down or escape plans. So you do what's called, <coughs> let me see, search, search, silence. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. It's called the four S's. Search, silence, segregate, speed to the rear. Speed to the rear, you take them back to garrison. Back to garrison, which is 
your base, your home fort. Search, silence, segregate, speed to the rear. So imagine after years of these young little red babies being born with no language, they start braying like horses, you okay? Elder Malcolm and call them the Cajuns of call. Reverse that, you see? He calls them the Cajuns of call. That's why they braid like horses. <coughs> That's probably an E that came on here. Dougie Fresh, shut your ass up, Dougie. You've been played out. Let's go back to Job 30. Job 30 and 6. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles. They were gathered together. See? So when they were cast out of the land, they begin to congregate where they can congregate freely and cohabitate. But at that time, many of them had already been cut off from their language because they were taken down. Dougie Fresh is hurt. Hurt. And the Bible says in Job 30 and 8, let's get that one. Job 30, verse 8. Yep, they were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Why is the earth turned upside down? They were viler than the earth. Why is the pedo queendom being exalted, promoted? Why are they adding more alphabets to the C3POs? They were viler than the earth. Why is $40 billion going to a Nazi human child trafficking hub of the world in the Ukraine. It is a child trafficking highway and a home of Nazis in the Ukraine. But yet, America claims it does not have enough money to buy baby formula. You Americans are bugged out. How can you send $40 billion dollars to the Ukraine, and then can't buy no damn baby formula. What if I told my wife, hey, look, look here, honey, I just bought my ex-girlfriend a brand new Maserati. But look here, I'm not going to be able to afford to get groceries this month. Have you lost your damn mind? That's out of order. What you Americans fall for, it. and most of you takes you went out and voted for this man. You love this devil. You trust in him. You despise this word and trust in oppression. So you're going to be judged with this man. Beautiful. Sean Wong, beloved brother, GMS in the truth, Orlando. Brother Zadok, on run, house of David. Ezekiel 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace, and they shall be none. Let's read it again. So judgment is coming. Civil wars are coming. Bloodshed is going to spill out in the streets. FEMA cats are already up and running. Internment facilities. How many know what's going on in Alaska? They put together a task force that are going out and searching for those that have potentially come into contact with the infected. And they can say you've been contaminated. So we're going to have to intern you, put you into a holding cell, a holding facility. I mean, you know what's going on in Wilmington, Delaware. Over 300 people kicked out of their homes that are homeless now. So all you people that accuse us of being conspiracy theorists, produce your cause, bring forth your strong reason, saith the God of Jacob. Who's the bug out now? Who's putting together a world meeting next week between the 22nd 
and the 28th of next week to put together a new global sovereign world government where it's going to usurp the national governmental sovereignty of 196 nations. And really that number is looking closer to 200. <coughs> Shalawan Fishers of Hopeful Elect, Shalawan. The World Health Organization is going to usurp the authority of the sovereign nations around the world, upwards of 200 nations, including the daughter of Babylon. Were well, you proud to be an American? Where at least you thought you were free. Bugged out. Bugged out. So you're getting ready to come under the authority of Klaus Schwab. That devil. And what's the other one? You all know of something. Or what's that, what's that other devil name? Somebody help me out. <coughs> you all. Noah or oh, wow, something like that. His uh his partner in crime. Ain't no more freedom. Well, we've been teaching you that for years, starting with the apostles. But we were called bug outs, crazy. Let's keep going. We're gonna go to Job 12. Uh fresh, come on here, running his mouth. Yup, uh perfect beginning. Because if you ask him something about the Bible, he pulls a beavis and butthead on you. Uh, <laughs> well that. Let's go to Job 12 and 7. So people are sometimes called what? I need to help brothers. In uh, Ecclesiastes 3, we are all beasts. So you know where we're going. It's in Ecclesiastes 3. Somewhere between 15 and 18. So this scripture is primarily talking about the real animals on the earth. But it can also pertain to who? The beasts of the field. The people. The Most High is poetic and uses similitudes. I had a dream and I've shared this a thousand times. Many of you know this dream already, a vision. I saw dead animals. Dead, dead animals strewn across the earth. I mean rhinos, pigs, sheep, lambs, goats, everywhere. They were strewn dead as far as I could see. Dead animals covering the earth. These were people, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> see? Let's read this first. Brother Shalom belonged brother GMS Amaf, your ice from Yahweh, Barakatha. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shai. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 18. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that the Most High might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are a beast. That's beautiful. See? So through similitudes, we're all beasts or creatures. See? <clears throat> so we all breathe in air or are part of the Most Highest creation. So we're all a part of that. We are creatures. I want to get one more. I'm trying to remember where it's at. One moment. Somebody please post Psalms 49 and 12. Psalms 49 and 12, please. Psalms 49 and 12. <clears throat> Let's go back to Job 12. Yeah, the Most High speaks in similitudes. This explains why I saw dead animals strewn miles and miles as far as I could see. Brother Pillars of Benjamin, Hosea 12 and 10. 
I have spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Yes, that other devil, Yuval Noah Harari, he is the right-hand man in crime to uh, Klaus Schwab, a high-ranking demon that's trying to merge us with computers. Let's go back to Job 12. Thank you. Job 12. So as you can see, yes, this passage primarily pertain unto real animals, but it also can apply to people. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So we are all beasts. Brother, basic wisdom, Psalms 49 and 12. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. Beautiful. Now let's roll in the Job 12. Let's go to verse 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Are not there uproars of the people? Uproars around the world. Is not the earth speaking unto us? How many people are being sick, dying of famine? pestilence. So we are the creation of the Most High. So the beasts are speaking. That is a spiritual phenomenon of the Most High. He speaks. What happened when the, uh, the donkey began to not move? When the, uh, what was his name? He disobeyed the order of the Most High, and the donkey would not move on the path because he saw the angel of the Lord before him. I'm drawing the blank. So the beasts of the field speak to us, real beasts and other creatures or creations of the Most High. <coughs> Job 12 and 8. Let's go back to 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Yeah. That's right, brute beasts. Even describing the wicked, or those that are going off, like wicked jakes. Pillars of Benjamin, Jude 1 and 10. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts. In those things, they corrupt themselves. Beautiful. So the beast can make you go astray or can bring things to light, can shed light that the air is being contaminated. The birds are dropping out of the air from these electrical towers. And I can't call them what they really are because they'll mess with the video. The animals are sick. Now, how is it? Let me ask you a question. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but if there's a beef shortage, there's a worldwide and national beef shortage, why are cattle being slaughtered? Where is all the beef coming from? If I were you, I would go get my hamburgers checked out and get them examined and check them for human DNA. I'm just telling you, unconfirmed reports of human meat being found in these meat processing facilities. The caveman is falling. He's doing all types of grotesque, wicked things. So the earth is speaking to us. Uproars of the people. Fake meat. Fake beef. Synthetic 
beef. Birds falling out of the damn sky, dropping dead. They trying to enjoy themselves and have a nice flight, a nice afternoon, sunny skies, and enjoy the skies. Take to the skies, not under the caveman. You see, the bird want to be a bird. The rat want to be a rat. Enjoy being a rat. You see, but they can't. <clears throat> They're being contaminated. They're intoxicated on poisons. Damn, the processing facilities are dropping their chemicals into the damn lakes and rivers and oceans. So a lot of these animals are sick. We eat the flesh of these beasts. So we are sick. This caveman got to go. He's got to go. Let me see if Dougie Fresh come back. Trying to justify it. Vive el caveman. Long live the caveman. Not. Let's go to Job 12 or 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fish of the sea shall declare unto thee. Wait a minute. Are not we also called fish? Uh-oh. Who's declaring the gospel? <laughs> Somebody post uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. That's right. A la mierda con el hombre de las cavernas. The... <laughs> The shit of the caveman, if I understood you. <laughs> this man is a leech. Okay? Let's keep going. So, let's read this again. So, yes, it applies to real animals. All right? We all adults here. But it also applies to the real human beings. People. People. That's what I meant to say. Job 12 and 8. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fish of the sea shall declare unto thee. Somebody post Isaiah 58 and 1, please. Let's go into some of these similitudes. I'm talking similitudes tonight. Brother Gabar Adama, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send on many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Are, are real sea fish, are they doing lectures and teaching the Bible? No. The Most High is poetic. Now, we do have fish that are contaminated and dying, so we're eating the fish. So they're communicating us. They are communicating to us through nature, and there's also a spiritual similitude. We're teaching the Most High's anointed ones. The Most High's incorruptible spirit is in all things. See that? Brother Gabar Adama, Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yep, test your hamburgers for DNA or human flesh. It's probably a missing Jake. So-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos has been missing. Now let's go back to Job 12 and 8. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fish of the sea shall declare unto ye. Declare unto thee. See? <coughs> so this word is being taught to us. Nature is speaking to us. The natural man 
with a spiritual anointing is speaking unto us. And I will send for many fishers and they shall fish them. So the elect are speaking unto us and declaring unto Jacob their transgressions. If I sound like handyman, let me know. I'm trying. Who knoweth not? Uh-oh. See? Somebody post. It's that last scripture. No, let's get Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. So the Most High speaks through peoples, people, places, and things. He speaks through everything. That's his creation. When we're being sick, the air is speaking to us. The fish is speaking to us. The meat that we eat is speaking to us. Our diet, the nuts, the fruit, the vegetables, that synthetic is speaking unto us. What does the doctor tell you? Check your diet. Check your diet. So when you get symptoms, that is a message of a, it's a form of communication. A form of communication. When we say our body is speaking unto us. Brother Andre serving in Havashai. Wisdom of Solomon 12, verse 1. For thy incorruptible spirit is in all things. See? Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fish of the sea shall declare unto thee. The trees speak to us. They're losing their leaves. They're telling you they're being zapped by communication towers and chemical trails. The trees speak to us figuratively, which is through nature, and the prophets. The prophets are also like trees. <laughs> Job 12 and 8. Let's jump down to verse 9. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord have wrought this. So the hand of the Lord and his incorruptible spirit is in all things. <coughs> yeah, if you're overweight, and you're wearing two or three tractor trailer truck tires around your waist. Nature is speaking unto you. Your body is speaking unto you. Change your diet. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4. So the Most High's hand is in all things the good, the bad, and the ugly. Trying to find one of my favorite scriptures. Right here. Deuteronomy 4, verse 6. Let's go to verse 7. For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them? As the Lord, our power is in all things that we call upon him for. Our diet our dreams, our bodies, you see? So his incorruptible spirit is in all things, the fish, the, the sea life, the birds, the rain. How many have ever heard of acid rain? These are all done by the Lord. Somebody get knocked out by a damn telephone pole. The Lord did it. Okay, a damn turtle sticks out his head at the last minute and takes out a man's crown jewels. The Lord did it. Or an alligator, rip it off. The Lord did it. The Lord did it. I'm going to read it again if you don't believe it. Deuteronomy 4, verse 7. For what nation is there so great? Who hath God so nigh unto them? 
as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. Somebody Zach Marcus, he probably got a big gold, a whole grill of gold teeth in his mouth. Marcus, okay, with a hat turned sideways, with a full mouth of crunched up aluminum cans. A lot of these ninjas that come on here, they probably got to look like they've been chewing on aluminum cans. Looking like shark teeth, a raggedy mouth devil. The Lord's incorruptible spirit is in all things. <coughs> Go back to Job 12 and 9. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? See, in whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. See, so that mankind goes back to what? Creatures. No, he's blocked for scoffing. Eight master. Okay, eight master, you can go too. Okay. I'm letting you know that the animal kingdom is ending soon. Chimpanzees and gorillas, cave beasts, they're ruling over us right now. They're promoting pedophilia. They're promoting bestiality. So the animal kingdom, like ape master, is coming to an end. But since we was, in, in, uh, we was rudely incorrupt, uh, this is telling you we got the truth. They're not messing with TD snakes. Create a flow of dollars. Well, we still got simps questioning what we teach. What they called everything prior to now conspiracy theory. Like this new world order. Get their meeting next week for a global world order. Dumbass. Unbelievable. No ape master can go. Because he's just, ain't, ain't nobody going to just name himself ape master. That's a scoffer. Job 12 and 10. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. See? So the Lord speaks to us through the birds of the air, through the beasts of the field. What happened to Jezebel? Did not the Lord speak? Did not he tell this prophet that her face would be eaten off? <coughs> See? So she was told, or it was prophesied, her face would be eaten off. So the Lord speaks to us through his prophets and through the other creatures of his creation. So everything was made for him and by him. And in him is the Lord's incorruptible spirit. So nothing happens by accident. So I try to be as precise as possible. But the Lord is speaking to us in these last days. There's uproars of the people. Many people one million people died from this sickness that took place over the last two years. One million people. So ask now the earth and it shall tell thee. So when you go and eat unclean creatures like shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, you're at risk of getting salmonella poisoning. It's speaking unto you. Don't eat me. I'm unclean. You get salmonella from eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. You get worms crawling into your brain and sl slowly eating away at your brain matter when you eat pork. The Lord is speaking unto us. High blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes. <coughs> What is that in Deuteronomy um, 28? And it's in the, uh, somewhere around verse 50. 
if somebody don't mind posting it, somewhere around verse 55 or 56. So the Lord is speaking to us through his creation, through his spirit. So hopefully this has been an edifying lesson. We got the truth. Every day we got mockers and scoffers. Every day our videos get taken down. Shadow man. I went to look for Elder Malcolm has two channels that are double strike, two strikes each. And he did a video, public service announcement. And it was not enough because without the link, I couldn't find the channel. So they're shadow banning. Somebody get rid of uh, Simeon Chi. Simeon Chi, please zap him. So a shadow man, Elder Possum, I mean Elder uh, Elder Malcolm's new channel. So they're shadow banning our channels and taking down our videos and deleting our lessons. And they're sending agents like Chi Chi's. Okay, the jalapeno man. Let's read this. Brother Andre serving in Habasha. Deuteronomy 28 and 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues <coughs> and of long count countenance and sore sickness and of long continuance. Let's read it again. Deuteronomy 28 and 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sickness and of long continuance. See? Or continuance. So these plagues, the Lord speaks. Wait a minute. You, uh, I'm surprised that ain't even up here by now. Psalms 9 and 16, please. Psalms 9 and 16, please. So the Lord is known. So he speaks to us through what we eat, what we drink, the rain that comes down. If it's acid rain, if it's hell, storm and hell, he speaks. The Lord is in the whirlwind. The Lord is in the storm. The Lord is in the tornado. The Lord is in the lightning that strikes. His arrows. <coughs> the Lord is in fire and tempest. See? Brother Andre serving you how shy. And Brother Pillars of Benjamin. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Beautiful. So they're creating this new world order. But the earth is going to rise up against him. Remember we read that in Job 12? Ask the earth and it shall tell thee uproars of the people. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. So the earth speaks. Job 12, verse 8. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fish of the sea shall declare unto thee. So the prophets are declaring unto you the words of Bible prophecy. The end is near. <coughs> Who is the wicked? Who is the just? Who is the Lord's anointed, his chosen? Keep his commandments and live. So everything was made for him. What is it? I think it's John 1 and 3. Somebody post John, John 1 and 3, please. Well, somebody is still... Like, what the hell is he talking about? Real Judah? How about reading? 
instead of just reading a barbecue pork menu. Read Job 30. Somebody post away. Don't, don't block this, this person yet. Job 30 and 4. Let's read, since real Judah can't read, let's read it for him. Job 30 and 4. A real Judah, since he can't read. See? Brother Pillars of Benjamin. John 1 and 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. I'm sorry, I meant Proverbs 30 and 4. My bad. Proverbs 30 and 4, please. It's my fault. And sometimes these are Edomites. Don't be fooled by the name in Avatar. <coughs> Let's go here. For real Judah, since he can't read. He says, who is your Havashai? Brother Andre serving your Havashai. Brother Gabar Adama. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou can tell. What is his son's name? Real Judah. If thou can tell. Wait a minute. It also said that he established all the ends of the earth. Let's go to Colossians. Because Judah, or real Judah, can't read. Colossians 1 <coughs> and 16. Colossians 1 and 16. By him, Colossians 1 and 16. For by him were all things made that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. See? So if you're new, just be quiet. Why can't you just be quiet and listen? But a lot of these are Edomites. So in Proverbs 30 and 4, he established the ends of the earth. So we just read in the New Testament, Colossians 1 and 16. We read Yahweh Shah. But a lot of these people are either butt hurt or part of the C3POs, they're Edomites, or they're just heathen. You got the same Bible the rest of us had. And the Most High is going to destroy all you mockers and scoffers. You and your families. Men, women, children, and the dog that pissed against the wall. Your pet too. For all you that think this is a game. See? Now when you read Okay. Yeah. Colossians 1 and 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. See? So we read that in Proverbs 30 and 4. He established all the ends of the earth. And if somebody can please post Job. I think it's 18 and 13 maybe. Job 18 and 13, please. 
Can somebody go ahead and get rid of real Judah? He's coughing again. Thank you. Bye-bye, real Judah. Get lost. Check his page. I'm just curious. Check his channel. It's probably blank. Oh, he's got the golden retriever on there. If somebody can please post Job 18 and 13. Job 18 and 13, please. Could be an Edomite. That's hurt. So when you read, yo, I'm going to read this first. Old to New Testament and then New to Old. Colossians. I told you, they just checked this page. See, through the Spirit, I've never yelled at a brother that's sincere or did a lesson on him. Never. I got a, a record that's undefeated. I have never rebuked or, or, uh, admonish or reprove a real brother. Nope. Well, not in the negative, like yelling at him or saying, get rid of him. Never done it. That's the Holy Spirit. See how the scoffers keep coming? You're talking about the truth, huh? Curtis Scott. See? Told you. These devils are hurt. They hurt. <laughs> Curtis Scott, you see that? They keep coming. Let's go. Colossians 1, verse 18. Colossians 1 and 18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. In all things he is the firstborn from the dead. Now let's go to Job. I thought he was not in the Old Testament. Fake Judah, excuse me, I mean real Judah. Brother Gabar Dunn, Job 18 and 13. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. I thought Yahawashai was not in the Old Testament. Fake Judah. You can't come against this Bible. You can't come against the prophets, which are which is the Spirit of the Lord. Did we not read he's the firstborn of death in Colossians 1 and 18? Come on, man. I thought there was no Yahweh Shai. But the brothers already did the legwork. A blank, empty, desolate wilderness with little tumble uh, tumbleweeds rolling around the wild, wild west. That's how America's going to look after judgment. The wild, wild west, a desolate, empty town with no life. And little tumbleweeds rolling around. So you're fighting against the spirit of the Lord. You're going to lose. Brother Basic Wisdom, 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So they are blinded by the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, they're playing with the spirit of the Lord. Like I told you, I've never rebuked a real brother. I got a perfect record, perfect record. But those that I have gotten on, hey, I'm, that's another lesson. There's some family stories I can tell you where I tried to share scriptures with certain family members and things happened to them because they thought this was all games. Let's get one more. One moment. Right here. We're going to get another one. Because we read Job 18 and 13. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. Now let's get Revelations. Revelations 1 and 5. And from Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that love us and wash us from our sins 
in his own blood. See? I'll go back to Job 18 and 13. The first begotten of the dead. Yeah, I was shy. But if the Most High has blinded you, you're going to lose. Nothing we can do about it. And like I said, a lot of these are either agents or butthurt Edomites. Their kingdom has fallen. The damn petrodollar is toilet paper now. Their own people are turning against them. You see? So we know we have the truth. That's why they keep messing with us. Remember, I will give you a mouth and tongue that cannot be gainsaid nor resisted. So this word is a net. It attracts you either to save you or destroy you. So this word is a double-edged sword and a net. What do we call this channel? A net work or a channel of living waters. 200 nations <coughs> are getting ready to cut loose when the caveman's dollar. 200 nations. You see, economic collapse is underway. The dollar has already lost 35% of his purchase power. See? <clears throat> so we got the meats. Not that the, uh, synthetic meat. Hi, everyone. What about Shalom? Seregano. We say Shalom. Okay? We say Shalom, which means peace be unto you, Miss Oregano. Y'all got to stop playing games. All right? So the Most High is in control. His incorruptible spirit is in all things. Lottie Dottie, everybody. The fish of the sea. The fowls of the air. The beasts of the field. Weapons. War, silver, gold, iron, and metal. Hopefully this lesson has been edified. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh. <laughs> One moment, my voice is drying out. When you tune into YouTube, the Spirit of the Lord is there. He's flowing on these channels of living waters. So these channels are gushing out floods or live streams of truth. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kadash, Rakatan, this wicked kingdom is falling and falling fast. We got next, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And the Bible, Bible. Ba we got next, Lord willing. The Most High is in control. Shalom.